episode of Hans TV. I'm Ben. And I'm Sam. This week, Ali's Winter Eruption program began with Tropical Beach Day. Winter Eruption takes place every Wednesday for not the next one, not two, not three, but for the next four weeks with a themed lunch and a spirit day. The house point standings are close this year, with Chopper having a slight edge over Badger for first place. But make sure you participate because you get a point for dressing up or winning the lunch challenge. Next week is Mardi Gras Day, so make sure you wear green, yellow, and purple. Now we are turning it over to Mason for Old Men Ranting and then Dane with Hounds on the Street. Good morning, Hounds. I'm Mason. And this is the very first episode of... Old Men Ranting. So the idea here is that what a pizza is, is pretty simple. Pizza is just toast, right? Toast is just one single layer of starch on the bottom, right? It's similar, you could top that with anything you want. You could put toast on, and the starch itself could be something simple, but like toast with jam, that's toast. You could also consider a sushi roll in a traditional sense that you'd have rice with a plain side of fish. That is just toast. It's just, it makes sense to me. Like the idea that we have two pieces of bread slapped with meat, that's a traditional sandwich, but it's not the only thing. Sandwiches come in multiple layers. Now when you come in three sides, right, you get your starch, starch, and starch. That's a taco. This is where most people get it completely wrong because hot dogs are tacos. We all know it. Instead of three sides, you have a full cube. Well, then you have like an actual quiche. Right? Simple. You get layers, it's cake. So if you have your starches stacked up, that's what a cake is. Think about this, right? When you think about a traditional cake, you think about a base layer and then some filling, and then another layer and then some filling, cake. This also means that your traditional hamburgers, though, are cake. Now, nachos are the sense that you have your starch in little groupings placed into a container, like bowl, which means cereal is just breakfast nachos. Not just that, but salad with croutons is just nachos. Salad without croutons is just salad itself, but salad itself doesn't have any starches. So clearly, a piece of steak is a salad. No starch, no consistency, it's a salad, okay? Soup, by the way, is just wet salad. It's just no starches, just put into one bit. Do you see where I'm going with this, okay? The idea here is that we need to, as a society, get together on the terminologies of what our starches are. That is 100% what we need to do here. I have a big problem with how some of you wear your socks. First of all, socks and Birkenstocks, one of the grossest pair of shoes you've ever seen in your life is a, any pair of Birkenstocks, and then you're rubbing all that gross dirt right into the socks. Then there's some people who don't pull their socks up all the way and you've got this little two inches of floppy sock at the end of the toes. What's wrong with you people? Don't you feel that? Isn't it bunch up at the end of your shoes? It's disgusting. Also, there is a proper way to put on socks. If you have socks with heels, they have to go at the back. You never put it in the front. Doesn't that feel uncomfortable? Uncomfortable feet means the whole rest of your day is ruined. If your day is ruined because of your socks, you're going to end up doing something you regret, like breaking up with your girlfriend even though it was your fault you didn't put on your own socks, going around mismatched socks. They're built to be in pairs for a reason. Make a statement that you care about the little details in life. Thanks for watching, Hounds. And I'll see you next week in another episode of... All Men Ranking. All right, today I'm here with Kiara, Thomas. Today's reel is what's easy to pick up but hard to throw. Um, a feather. A feather. Yeah. All right, I'm here with Makai. Uh, Makai. What is what is next in this sequence? J F M A M J J S O N. Uh, Z. P. Nope. I'm here with Dave. How many colors are there in the rainbow? 18. Correct. Yeah. I'm here with Maisie, Connor, and today's riddle is, what is a neck but no head? A bottle. A bottle. Yep. <laughs> it's my birthday. All right, I'm here with Vincent, Kirky. What's worth more after it's broken? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, an egg. Yeah. Today I'm here with Ash Mitchellmore. Today's riddle is, what has holds but still holds water? I'm going to go with a sponge. Today I'm here with Jack Lomachon. Today's riddle is, I'm tall when I'm young, I'm short when I'm old, what am I? A candle. Yep. 
All right, today I'm here with Carter, Pablo, Gavin. And uh, today's riddle is, what has a neck but no head? Sorry, sorry. The horse's name is Friday. Uh, a bottle. I go with the bottle. Pablo got her. Thanks, Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. This week also featured two ND students participating in the Canadian Computing Competition. The CCC is a fun competition hosted by the University of Waterloo for students with an interest in coding. Mason Harrington and Jet Wang participated in the challenge on Wednesday morning. Good job, Mason and Jet. Now we're going to turn it over to Dustin, who's hosting Punked with Adam, and then Robbie's next episode of Mike Tup. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Punked with Adam. I'm Dustin. Adam's missing today, so it's just me. This week's workout is a trap bar deadlift, and the areas that it targets are your glutes, hammies, and quads. Now when you're performing the workout, you want to stick your chest up and not hunch your back. And make sure that your feet are planted, you have a center grip on the bar when you come up. So pumped with Adam. See you next week, Cowns. Oh my god. this time. <laughs> That's probably a couple of dog marks there. That'll happen. Yeah, we got last one. We'll just go. No one touch my box. Robbie for actually plugging in the mic and good job Dustin. Hey Ben, how was your trip to Vegas? It was actually really fun. We got to visit the strip and a bunch of hotels. We actually went to Fairmont Street too. Unfortunately the hockey park didn't go our way but it was a lot of fun. Awesome. Sounds like it was a good trip for the team. Yeah. Next up we're going to have this day in history and then challenge of the week. Hello and welcome to the second installment of this day in history. I'm your host Sam and without further ado let's get into those events. That happened on February 24th. On February 24th, 1942, the quote-unquote Battle of Los Angeles takes place. A stalemate where the U.S. waits for a rumored yet false Japanese attack. In 1982, Wayne Gretzky ties the NHL record of 78 goals en route to the still-standing 92 of that season. In 2022, Russian leader Vladimir Putin announces the start of a special military operation in Ukraine to demilitarize the country's movements before launching a full-scale attack. This is the two-year anniversary of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Goodbye. Hey Hounds, welcome to Challenge of the Week. This week's challenge is charades. Whatever group can get the three words in the shortest amount of time will win. I'm here with... Nathan Thompson. Griffin Chapman. And do you think you'll win the challenge? Definitely. No. no. Shooting. Center. Shooting center. Hockey puck. Hockey stick. Uh, that, that counts. Hockey. Okay. okay. Dancing. Parties. Uh, celebrations. Selling. Uh, The up there. Oh, winning. Um, um, red. Wait, I, yeah. Hoodie. Red hoodie. Red is red a word? Red and white.
picture taking. I... I'm here with Rain and Josie. And do you think you can win the challenge? No. No. Yep. Hockey? Yeah. Uh, Cheering? Okay. Red and white? Okay. Filming? Yeah, I'm here with uh, Hounds on the. Uh, Hounds TV? I'm here with Natalie, Kate, and do you think you can win the challenge? Yes. Sure. Hockey. Cheering. Red and white. Um. Pray. Church. Camera? Box. Video. Camera. Photography. Multimedia. Um. <laughs> um. 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 I don't know. <laughs> Who am I here with? Thomas McPhee. Uh, Curtis. And do you think he'll win the challenge? No. Yes. Hockey. Red and white? Oh, Hounds TV. So that was pretty good, right? Yeah, shout out to Thomas and Curtis for winning the challenge. Back to you, Ben and Sam. 50-50, not bad, Hounds. Drag in next week and see how you do. Finally, our female double-A team starts their playoff run on March 26th. Good luck, girls. And their only home game of the series is on March 1st, so be sure to support Andy's first home playoff game this year. We're now going to pass it over to Pass the Puck and Top 10. So, who am I here with? Uh, Spring Mosset. Uh, how long have you been a Hound? This is my third year. What position do you play? I'm a centerman. And what do you think your team needs going forward for the rest of the game? Uh, I think we just need to keep working hard and competing. Uh, dumping it in and chasing, obviously, is working pretty good, along with the cycles. Yep. And uh, with the one second buzzer beater, what do you think you, that you did that went well? Uh, I think I just worked hard and we communicated well. I oh. went in. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, who am I here with? Uh, Austin awesome. How long have you been a hound? Uh, four years. And what position do you play? Uh, <laughs> um, and what do you think your team needs for the rest of the game? I just think we need to get pucks deep and uh, more pucks on goal. Alright. And um, what do you think it's like playing in a red and white in front of like the whole school? Oh, it's always great, you know. Bring the spirit. It's great. Yep. Alright, thank you.
everyone who made it on the top 10. If you want to be on next week's top 10, make sure you send it clips. I'm Sam. And I'm Ben. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.